What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news and today I'm going to be talking about 10 awesome screenshots that were released today and they're jam packed full of some amazing details that you're going to want to hear about. I'm also going to release a facts video which summarizes everything that was released today in terms of information so you're going to want to check that out and that's going to be out in about one to two hours. As always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to press that like button and to subscribe for more daily top notch GTA 5 videos. Starting with this screenshot here, we get a beautiful overview of Los Santos from behind the Vinewood sign, and it just really gives you an incredible scope of how big the city is and how beautiful it is at night with all the lights. You can see down to the single lights on the street, which is incredible for such a large game. Now here you see behind the Vinewood sign, you see a facility. Now this facility exists in real life in Los Angeles. It's behind the Hollywood sign, and I'm going to quote this from Wikipedia. The building and tower located just behind and to the right of the sign is the city of Los Angeles Central Communications Facility, which supports all cell phone, microwave, and radio towers used by the Los Angeles Police Department, Fire Department, Los Angeles Unified School District, and other municipal agencies. The building itself has no name and is essentially a large maintenance building for the antennas. So I believe that is a cop car just to the left of those two large buildings, but that's really interesting that this is what sort of controls a lot of, or what I guess houses or enables the communication of a lot of the emergency services in Los Angeles, which is very interesting. I wonder how they're going to use that for the storyline. Also here you notice the beautiful hills and everything like that, and compared to a real life behind the Hollywood sign picture, it looks pretty similar. I mean, of course there's differences, but you could see the city off to the left over there, and the rolling hills and all the houses and stuff like that. Additionally, I believe you can see a stunt jump, which is just near the V in the Vinewood sign, and it looks like a ramp going off a container, and you're going to be able to do a stunt jump there. That's what it looks like. Next up, we have Michael with sort of a beard, sort of some stubble on his face. That really leads to a question, are your characters going to start growing facial hair eventually, or do you have to customize that in a shop? Nonetheless, you can see all the destruction that Michael has caused in the background with some burning objects, and you can also see the highly detailed weapon that he's holding with a scope and what seems to be a silencer as well. Next up, we have probably the most interesting screenshot out of this batch, and it's Franklin and Lamar talking to each other. But that's not the most interesting part. The most interesting part is the car. That car is modeled after the Aston Martin DB5. Now, if you don't know, the Aston Martin DB5 is famous for being the first and most recognized James Bond car, which appeared first in the James Bond 